Hello, I'm Sarah Howe from Keith McMillan Instruments and today I'm going to show you a little 12-step tutorial for connecting your 12-step and using it straight out of the box. So here's your 12-step and here's a little diagram that shows your 12-step connected to a computer and an expression pedal. We'll do this setup first. This is for connecting with software of your choice. First you'll need USB A to B cable which comes in your 12-step box. So connect that to the 12-step port and then the other end to your computer's USB port. And then it'll power on and show you the firmware version and then it'll go to the first preset. And now you can hook up an expression pedal if you wish. You don't have to if you don't want to. Um, but if you have an expression pedal and you want to hook it up, uh, you can use the the quarter inch to eighth inch adapter and plug that in to your expression pedal and then plug into the 12 step the expression port on the 12 step and now if you've got some kind of music software open and ready to receive notes from your 12 step you can go ahead and play the first preset which is set up to just play a chromatic scale plain and simple so now, one thing you can do within any preset is change octaves. You do this by holding down the select key until the buttons all flash. And then step on the plus octave to increase your octave range. Or step on the negative octave button to go to the lower range. And you can do this multiple times in order to shift up or down as many octaves as you like. So there's another thing you can do here after holding on the select key. You can shift presets by stepping on one of the numbered keypads. So now I'm on the bend preset, which at first sounds legato, but if you tap on the select key quickly, you can turn off any held notes, and you'll also be switched back to the normal key behavior. So that's just tapping the select key, not holding it. So now what I'm demonstrating here is the ability to use your foot's tilt to bend the notes. Most presets have this mapped already, uh, the, the ability to pitch bend using the tilt of your foot. So that's that setup, and now we're going to take a look at using the MIDI expander to connect your 12-step to a hardware synth. The MIDI Expander is an optional addition if you want to also purchase that. Um, so first, take a USB A to B mini cable and plug it in to your MIDI Expander and also to your 12 steps expand port. Then you'll grab a USB A to B cable and plug that into your MIDI Expander's power port. And then the other end goes into the power plug's USB port. And then you can plug that into the wall. And again, your 12-step is powered, flashes the firmware version, and goes to the first preset. Now you'll need to get a MIDI cable. Plug one end into the MIDI output port on the MIDI expander and the other end you can plug into your hardware synths MIDI input port. And there you go. Now you can shift octaves just like you could in the other setup. There I've used the plus oct key to shift up to the higher octave and holding down on select again and pressing negative oct to shift back down. So next I'd like to demonstrate using the select key to change presets again. First I'd like to point out one predicament you might find yourself in when you want to change to a preset number higher than 9. After holding down the select key you can select any of the numbered keys to go to a preset slot between 0 and 9. 
To get to a preset higher than 9, you would need to hold down on the Select key, then hit the Enter key, then use the plus 10 or minus 10 keys to increment and decrement through the preset decades. Once you've reached the decade of your choice, then you can hit a numbered key to complete your selection. So now I'll demonstrate all of this for you. I hold the select key, then I step on a numbered key to pick any of the presets in the first decade. Now I hit the enter key to go to a different decade and in the display I can see myself incrementing through the decades. Now I can increment back down to the one I want. I'll go to preset 20 and then I can finish off my selection by stepping on the zero and then I'm sent straight to the preset which is called third. It's the major thirds preset. That preset plays major thirds, and now I'll show you the expression pedal. I've turned the volume all the way down with the expression pedal. Turn it up a little bit. And there you go. Now you've got everything working right out of the box. And I'll go back to my original preset by decrementing down to the zero decade and going back to preset zero. Plain chromatic scale. Okay, so that concludes this tutorial video. Stay tuned for more. Thank you.